Hello there, welcome to my channel. My name is Doug and I'm back with another fountain pen video. And today I'm announcing the winner of this pen right now. But before I announce the winner of this pen, I have to recount my most memorable inky experiences. And I've had three. One is actually on video and here it is. This is my first and last experience with a Fountain Pen Revolutions fountain pen, the FPR Himalaya version 2. It was the inkiest experience I've ever had, and I only resorted to handling this pen wearing latex gloves. My second inky experience was when I presented my son with a Pen BBS 500 Galaxy for his birthday. I was so excited to show him how the pen worked that I completely forgot that I had filled the pen with ink. And this is the result. Lovely inky hands, those are my son's hands. The Pen BBS 500, this is my amber version, has a really cool syringe filling mechanism. You just unscrew the bottom and you can pull this piston out and then you can use it like a syringe. It's a very cool device, but gets very squirty when it's full of ink. And I knew he'd admire this mechanism, so I pulled out the rod, pushed the plunger back down, expelling a stream of blue ink all over his new blue jeans blue on blue at least. And my third experience is one I'm still ashamed about. My beautiful white and gold Leonardo Ferrari salt. Here it is. It looks gorgeous, doesn't it? Well, when it was not even a week old, for some reason a whole cartridge converter full of Leonardo blue ink shot into the cap. If it were black pen, it wouldn't matter so much. But it got behind the cap liner and into the opening of the clip, so rinsing it did nothing for it. I soaked it for a while, it was still stained. So please do not do this at home. What I did was, I put the cap in a glass of water with a touch of bleach in it, and I left it to soak. Oh my god, what a fucking nightmare! When I came back to it, the gold plating had been stripped from the clip and part of the gold bands. I was mortified. Long story short, my hero Jack Hernandez did his magic and replated the clip and cleaned the cap to the point you could not tell there was an issue with a pen. And look at that work. You can't tell that that pen has been replated at all. And now on to the winner of the DNA. I'm pleased to announce that my random draw of eligible subscribers entries has selected Willie Fry Jr. And here is Willie's comment. Hello Doug, my most memorable fountain pen moment was when I was cleaning my Rotring initial fountain pen. I disassembled the pen and washed the nib down the drain. Well, isn't that a most appropriate comment for our topic? We can all learn from Willie's experience. I had a nib soaking in some very dark inky water in a glass and I forgot that it was there. I dumped the whole thing down the drain and that drain had no trap and no screen. I'll never do that again. Congratulations, Willie. You've won this marvelous Hex Pens DNA Evolved 3D printed fountain pen. I trust you not to flush this wonderful Yovo stub nib down the drain. All right. You have 48 hours from now. That's until this coming Monday, 8 a.m. Pacific time to contact me at inquiringminds at gmail.com with your name and address so I can send you your Hex Pens DNA Evolved. And it will come in this lovely wooden box with the fancy red bow. If I don't hear from you by then, I will randomly select another winner until I find someone who does want to win this pen. And as promised, I have selected three runner-ups to win their choice of an Ink Buddy stabilizer. Here are the top three comments on the topic, your most memorable inky experience. The third runner-up, I call this one, who the hell got emerald of chicken on the baby? Kenny, don't paint your sister. Tiffany Blue Tarot writes, my most memorable ink moment was quite recent since I'm brand new to the hobby. I inked up my first pen with my first ink, Emerald of Shavor, and started testing. A few minutes in, my baby started crying, so I went to tend to him. That's when I noticed my hand had lovely turquoise splotches on them. Okay, no worries there. Went about giving the baby his bottle, and back I went to my pen experimentation. I look over at the baby to make sure he's still settled, and I see he has the same turquoise splotches on his face. They transferred from my hands due to a baby wipe and making a bottle. This game of pass the ink spot has happened a few times now, but like so many say, it's our badge of honor. 
I just got him started a little bit early. Five months old isn't too terrible, is it? No, not so much. And the second runner-up. I call this one, How to Meet a Girl in Class. Otuya writes, My most memorable inky experience was when I was attending a class. As usual, I uncapped my fountain pen to start taking notes, but my pen had leaked in the cap, and I sent drops of ink flying to the white shirt of the poor, unaware girl sitting in front of me. I spent the class mortified about it, and at the end I confessed to her what had happened. Luckily, she was very understanding and relaxed about it, and told me a couple of days later that the ink washed off easily. And the first runner-up. I call this one the Happy Happy Joy Joy Fun Fun Zone. This is your old pal Stinky Whizzle Teeth. That's right. It's the Happy Happy Joy Joy Song. Happy Happy Joy Joy, Happy Happy Joy Joy. Miss Marilyn Darling writes, A few years ago, I got a little overzealous with putting the cap on my favorite bottle of Monteverde Caribbean Blue, and I knocked nearly the whole bottle on my desk. The urge was to keep it from hitting the floor, so I thrust my body up against my desk, thinking it wouldn't go very far. Well, I was wrong. It went down my tummy, through my fun fun zone, and all over my seat and the floor. It just happened to be the moment I had run completely out of paper towels next to my desk. I hobbled to the shower and washed off, and for a month, my boyfriend refused to have anything to do with me, and instead accused me of sleeping with a smurf. And there you have it. If you're one of the three runners up, please make sure you email me with your name, address, and your preference for an Ink Buddy stabilizer so I can get it out to you. You have a choice of an Ink Buddy for Ferris Wheel Press, Robert Oster, Noodlers, Diamine, or one for glass or plastic ink files. Let me know. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe, and don't forget to ring that bell to get instant notifications whenever a new video is posted. And please look in the description for a link to Goldspot Pens, as I'm now an affiliate of the online store, and when you shop at Goldspot using my link, you'll be supporting my channel as well, at no extra charge to you. You can also join as a member of my channel too, for only 99 cents a month, and I guarantee I'll answer your comments in the comments section, and you'll get cool emojis, badges, and sneak peek unboxing videos as well. And that just leaves it for me to say, thank you for watching, and that's all she wrote.